This is the two ball drill. Purpose of this drill is to get the outfielder working on their reactions to the ball. It's also a good cardio workout where she's gonna, I'm gonna toss a ball to the, her left side. She's gonna go back, catch it, make a throw, and then sprint to, to her right. And I'm gonna throw the next ball, catch it, make a throw, and back and forth, back and forth. It's gonna be a mix of fly balls as well as ground balls. Let's take a look. This is the bare hand drill. The purpose of this drill is so the outfielder can work on seeing the ball into their glove. In this drill, we're going to use the softy balls and we're not going to have them use any gloves. Okay? They're going to do it bare handed. That way they work on concentrating on seeing the ball go into their glove hand. We're going to work both sides. They're going to go out, turn their shoulders, work on their over the shoulders, on their left sides and their right side. Let's take a look. Notice they're using their glove hand only, and they're working their backhand side and their glove side. This isn't, isn't as easy as it looks. It takes a lot of concentration. This is the gap communication drill. The purpose of this drill is get the outfielders to communicate with one another so we can make a play on the ball, whether it be a fly ball or a ground ball, whether it be shallow or one that's hit over their head. Make note on this, coaches, as you do this drill, you designate a center fielder. That way it will alleviate any confusion when two people, two outfielders are calling for the ball. If two outfielders are calling for the ball, then the rule of thumb is it's the center fielder's ball. And that will alleviate any, uh, any confusion with that. Let's take a, a look as coach hits the balls to the outfield. Make sure that you uh, have your outfielders call it at the peak flight of the ball and make sure that they call it out a few times and loud. Go, 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 go. If you're not the outfielder fielding the ball, then you need to get into that backup position. You never know if that outfielder is going to drop that ball. As an outfielder, you want to, as you run to the ball, you want to pump your arms. That helps with your leg drive. You never want to call the ball for another fielder. Only call the ball if you plan on catching it or you're making an attempt at it. Remember, peak flight. Communication as well on ground balls. If you're the backup outfielder, then you need to get around and in position and not overrun the play on a ground ball. 